Okay, I think we are we are live. Okay, we are a few minutes early this uh, this morning. Uh, if you are just joining us for the first time, welcome to my daily live streaming. Okay, if you are welcome to daily live streaming here. And if you're again, okay, if you're first time joining us, just let me know in the uh, live chat comments. Okay, I usually like to, uh, I, I like to shout out your name. You know, if you want me to. All right, so. I mean, again, if you're first time joining us, uh, we've been doing live streaming for a while. It's been going on good three years now, I think. Good two or three years now. Okay, it's been a while. Okay, And then in the beginning, I did mostly edited video. Uh, kind of like focus on Brista Express and Pro over the years. And now, in the last few years, we kind of like more laid back. Okay, more, a lot more laid back, a lot more interaction between, you know, you and uh, with the live chat uh, group. So yeah, again, if you have any questions or comment, let me know. Okay. Uh, I got my monitor set up right here. I got big monitor set up. So I see uh, your questions or your comments. I can see it so we can interact. Okay. We can interact for, you know, next 20, 30 minutes. It's all depend on the topics. But uh, so today's topic is, is pour over coffee technique matter or not? Okay. Uh, I addressed that before. Let's think about the making specialty coffee, okay? Sometimes it can be intimidated, all right? I know a lot of you out there wants to start, start making pro of coffee, but there is so many, the rules, okay? There's so many rules and so many different techniques. If you go to YouTube right now, all right? You're gonna search for pro over technique, all right? You know what, let's do it anyway, okay? So what I'm gonna do is, I got my big monitor here, so let's go to YouTube. Okay, I'm gonna go to YouTube right now. I'm gonna YouTube and I'm gonna search for pour over coffee. So it's for a simple uh, uh, pour over coffee. Okay, that's it. And then let's go with technique, okay? All right. Uh, so let's go with pour over coffee technique here. Maybe recipes, whatnot. Okay. Here we go. Goodness. Okay, here, let me show you guys what we got, what we have here. I'm gonna flip the camera for you. Okay. Okay, here we go. So we have a YouTube. If you're searching for pour over coffee recipes, uh, we have a whole bunch. Okay, we have a whole bunch. We got the, uh, which is the best pour over coffee recipes, a lot of shirts. Okay, we are live here right now. We have a Lance does the ultimate pour over recipe. Uh, so we have more, Chemex, Kyle has uh, some video. We have James, uh, uh, James Hoffman has some few videos as well. We have, uh, uh, we have uh, Vince from Terrace Coffee. Man. Literally thousands, okay? We have a literally thousands and thousands coffee techniques. All right, even Morgan has the technique as well. Yeah, it's a lot, okay? It's a lot going on with uh, comes to pour over coffee, okay? It, it can be overwhelming, all right? So, but you know what? It doesn't have to be. Okay? Making coffee should be fun, okay? It doesn't have to be kind of like it's set in rules, okay? Because Sometimes people get really focused on the recipes, the ratios. So, um, so here's what I'm gonna do. Okay, so let's do. Uh, I have a two set up right here. Okay, so I have a two pour over setup, and, I, and I'm gonna. I already dosed out some coffee already. So the one thing you gotta remember is just uh, just simple ratio. Okay, if you are using uh, 13 gram, 14, 15, 16 gram dose, doesn't matter. Okay. And then uh, it comes to ratio wise, one to 10, one to 15, one to 16. That's it, all right? So, uh, so my typical recipe, I like to do single dose, okay? I, I like to do single, kind of single cup. I like to use about 13 gram, and then I'm gonna add uh, 200 grams of water. That's it, all right? It comes to water temperature wise, just go boiling temperature, okay? Simple as that. But after that, it's, it can be a little tricky, okay? Sometimes a couple, uh, some recipe has, uh, let's say, 30 second bloom. 
some recipe as a 40 second broom, 50 second broom, uh, between the time as well. There's a lot of steps involved. So one, okay, so one coffee here, okay. I'm just gonna use my standard recipe, okay. I'm gonna maybe 30 second blooming, and I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna kind of like wait about, you know, wait 30 seconds. I'm gonna add some water, I'm gonna add some water. Kind of like standard pour over recipe. The other one, okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have it just a one, uh, one uh, two pour. I'm gonna wait 30 seconds, and then I'm gonna put the rest of the water in. Very, very extremely simple recipe. Uh, it's gonna be same blooming time, that's it, okay. The other one, I'm gonna be a little bit more involved. I'm gonna put some uh, time and effort to make that coffee. The other one, again, bloom and put the rest of water. Uh, pretty simple there. So let's find out, okay, let's find out. Uh, we have a uh, shout out to Mr. Rainbow, again, for the super sticker there, number one fan. Yes, you are, buddy. Ah, d uh, another super sticker as well. Fantastic, okay, so we are, we are two for two today, two for two. Uh, by the way, uh, uh, we have some friends from Discord member as well. We have a, a live through Discord too, so it's fantastic. Okay, we got a few people watching this morning. Make sure thumbs up, okay? Thumbs up on the video. All right, so today's coffee is uh, one of our friend Brent from Good Brothers Coffee sent me some coffee a couple of weeks ago. This is an Ethiopia coffee, Ethiopia taro. Great tasting notes, okay? Terry Graham. Tart citrus, lemongrass, no, no, lingering finish, okay, very uh, bright, you know, it's going to be wake me up, okay, it's going to be wake me up, so it's going to be a fantastic copy, by the way, I do have a 15% off coupon code for the entire his website, so make sure to check it out, I got the link down below, okay, anyway, uh, grinder, grind size, okay, so, First thing you have to worry about, or first thing you gotta think about is a uh, uh, dosing amount, right? Dosing amount with the ratio. Hold on a second, yeah, we got some. Uh, uh. Hey, 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 Steve, can you shut the, your mic off for me? I can hear the background noise. Okay, hold on a second. We have a, we have a feedback from the Discord right now. Okay, we got, you got, Never mind. Oh, okay, I got it. Uh, sometimes uh, we got the Discord live. Uh, right now we got Discord live right now. And uh, sometimes the uh, people don't forget to uh, shut their mic uh, microphone off. I can hear the feedback. Because with, uh, with the YouTube, it's about five second delay. Okay. So right now it's kind of a five second delay for the, my live streaming. So anyway, so this is the great thing about the live streaming. All right. There's no edit. Okay, you get uh, what you see is what you get here. All right, so uh, again, meantime, uh, if you're brand new to the live chat, live streaming, let me know, okay? So let me know there, all right? And I can shout out your name. Okay, we have uh, uh, Phyllis from California for the first time there. Okay, shout out to Phyllis. We got Torah. It's uh, 3.50 p.m. I don't know where is a 3.50 p.m. I'm not quite sure. Okay, in Brazil. Okay, shout out to friends from Brazil. That's fantastic. The Asian Dev from New Jersey, Jersey City. Yeah. So uh, we, uh, we got some uh, couple regulars. We got Gunther from Germany as well. Uh, by the way, which grinder you guys wanna see right now? Okay, let's pick the grinder. Okay, so uh, we have the coffee, we have the brewing method. Uh, let's see the grinder, okay. Uh, Steve is in Amsterdam at the moment. He's watching from Amsterdam. Fantastic. Uh, grinder. Let's see here. Uh, MR say Commandante. DF64 Grinder. S Steve say SK40. Okay. Let's see here. SK, uh, yep. S Steve wants the SK40. DF64. JD wants the EK. Oh, George say Opus. Goodness. All right. Okay, it's kind of like everybody wants a different grinder. So let's get a few more out there. So uh, let's match three. Okay, three person wants the three uh, same grinder. Let's go with that. Okay. We have about two DF64. Okay, we have two DF64 so far. Uh, George wants Opus. 
2 EK, so far 2 EK. Let's see here. Spice grinder there, uh, Jackie. Okay, Jackie wants a spice grinder. All right, so let's go. We need a tiebreaker. We need a tie, uh, tiebreaker between, yep, D horse A. Okay, we're gonna go to EK. Second days in a row, okay. Second days in a row, we're gonna do EK43. We did EK43 yesterday, so. Yeah, let's pick something else, okay. Yeah, we have a SK40. Okay, one SK40, you got two SK40. JE say Opus. Yeah, okay, so we're gonna go uh, SK40. Okay, SK40. Okay, Mr. Rainbow say DF64. Uh, we're gonna do that later, okay? Later this afternoon session. Okay, Mr. Rainbow. So, because DF64 is on my other, other room right now, so yeah, so I gotta bring it in. So, yeah, so let's go with. Uh, SK40 for now and the afternoon session uh, I'm gonna bring it out uh, Mr. Rainbow's request get the DF64 out okay uh, let's brew some coffee all right here we go so SK40 let's talk about this grinder for a second okay a uh, very simple design under 200 bucks really cheap okay very cheap there uh, has a warm gear in it, so it, it's not a spin it. You, you just gotta use uh, this warm gear. Right now, I set a number four right now, so that's more like espresso range. So I'm gonna double that. Okay, let's double it. Okay, so four. I'm just gonna spin it for a few times. So let's go. Let's go ten. Okay. I'm just gonna spin it for a few. So now I'm already there. So now we're at ten, eleven. Let's go 12, okay. I'm just kind of like guessing the numbers, okay. There is, yeah, I mean, there's no magic to it. So this is kind of like a one and done, guys. One and done here. So uh, we are going to just uh, grind it. Two different techniques. One is extremely simple. Uh, 30 second bloom, go rest of, rest of water going in. Uh, the other recipe, I'm gonna do three parts, okay. So I'm, gonna, I'm going to take my time to brew it, okay. So again, so right now <clears throat> I'm setting at number 12, okay? 12 for the pour over for SK40. All right, you guys can, uh, I'm not gonna do RDT, okay? I'm just gonna go straight, all right? Grinds pretty fast, I have to say. Yeah, it grinds very fast. That's it, has a little bellow in it. Right. So let's take a look here. Let's see how much retention we're gonna get. Okay. Let's talk about some retention. You have 13 gram in. 13.3 gram. I think I have some little bit of coffee left from yesterday, so not a big deal there. So let's take a look at the next one. So we're gonna get going here. So we're gonna do a second. Pretty fast, get yeah, really fast. Okay. So let's go from here. <clears throat> Yep, <clears throat> it's like, they're right on, on it though. Okay, I have to say, comes to retention-wise, they're pretty good. Uh, if, if you usually get 13 in, maybe like 0.1 gram at the most, comes to, uh, comes to retain, uh, retention-wise. Okay, so first coffee, uh, we're just, we just gonna brew straight up, okay? I'm gonna do 30 second balloon. I'm just gonna wait till my water is a uh, uh, boiling temp. Right now, I'm at 90 point, 92.5 Celsius right now. Okay. Water is... So this is the light roast from Ethiopia. Uh, actually, uh, Good Brothers copy there. 
All right, let's brew some coffee here. I'm just gonna start with 30 gram. Okay. Just gonna shake a little, that's it. I'm gonna wait about 35 seconds right now. Okay, I'm gonna wait about 35 seconds and then go all the way up to 200 grams of water. Okay. Uh, Dhar asked me, do you have 60 foot for afternoon session? Yes, we're gonna do that this afternoon. And I'm gonna wait 30 seconds there and then I'm gonna just go all the way up to 200, okay? Just circle full, pull, you know, not that special. Just go nice and easy. That's it. Go all the way up to 200. That's all. And after that, I'm just going to do a quick swerve. You know, just to make sure everything is nice and flat. So that is a kind of like simple recipe right here. So this one, I'm going to use my just my standard recipe. Okay. Again, I'm just going to go 30 second bloom, just like the other one. Swerve it. I'm going to wait for 30 seconds. And then once we hit the 30 seconds, I'm just going to go kind of like center pull here. Aggressive. Okay. All the way up to 100. So what I'm doing is right now, hold on, I mean what I'm doing is right in the, in the center pour, I'm just going to go very aggressive, I'm going to agitate the entire coffee grind, so it's, you know, you are going to mix it up very nicely, okay, and then once I hit about minute mark, I'm just going to go nice and easy, okay, very gentle, clean up the side, okay. Go gentle about 150 gram here. Okay. And so now I got to clean the side and now everything is a nicely, you know, uh, mixed. And then once I hit at 130, again I'm gonna clean up the side one more time. Go gentle. Okay, very gentle in the middle. All the way up to 200. That's it. So this coffee, uh, just under three minutes, okay. So this coffee is ready. So this coffee right here, the second one we did, so that's the one we really, you know, spend some time to kind of like give some really, you know, care, okay, making a second cup there, okay. Uh, it's about two minutes and 20 seconds right now. All right, so, so this is a really nice brew time right here. It's about 2.30, okay? Because I, I like my brew time uh, needs to be around three minute mark, mark. Yeah, so I mean, this is perfect, okay? That's fantastic. Okay, so this is, comes to ratio wise, I mean, this is what I want, okay? So I mean, this is coffee comes to yeah, so, so this is my uh, very simple recipe, two pull, uh, 30 second blooming and rest of the water going in there. Hold on, I'm just making a mess here. And the second one, same blooming time, but this one, you know, I spent some time on it. Okay. All right. So let's find out. Okay, let's find out is a technique matters. All right, is technique matters? I don't know. What do you guys think? Okay. So I'm gonna start with 
Now let's start with uh, the simple recipe here. All right. Cheers, guys. So this is a coffee from Ethiopia, coffee from uh, Good Brothers Coffee there. I do have a coupon code, okay? Make sure to take advantage of that coupon code. Here we go. Okay, clean, bright. Man, this is very clean as well, very clean coffee. Okay. Okay, hold on. Kind of like they have a tasting notes, okay? If you are just joining us, uh, Telegram. I bet you that Telegram is more like the Telegram, the finish that the, it's not the tasting notes, but that's more like texture of Telegram. A uh, tart citrus, okay? Yeah, I can see why. It's very bright. It's not bitter, okay? It's not bitter. Uh, it's uh, quite pleasant. Okay. Good. So let's go from here. So there is a different tasting note for when coffee is really hot. And once you cool down, you are going to uh, see different tasting notes. So that's why you want to enjoy kind of like every aspect of your coffee. Okay. When coffee is hot, getting warm. I don't know about cold. I don't know about cold. So this is the coffee, you know, we spend some time to put some little care into it. Let's put it that way. Here we go. Cheers. So this is the second cup here. Ooh. Okay. Let's go back to the first one. You know, I, I mean, I wish you guys are here right now. Okay. I wish you guys are here to taste this coffee because, man. Okay. So let's go be, use the identical, okay. identical coffee, identical brewer as well, identical paper, same water. Everything is the same, but different technique, okay. different technique there. Hold on, so let's go back here one more time. Okay. Seems more balanced. All right. Let's go. First cup. Yeah. Second cup has more balance to it. Uh, what is, I mean, what's balance means? Uh, it comes to their sweetness. Uh, the highs and lows are pretty well balanced. So this is a more pleasant to drink. Okay. Right. Yeah, because I can see that the citrus, that very nice lemon. It's not a bitter lemon. Okay. Very nice, sweet lemon citrus. So this one here, so this is the first one. So, uh, uh same blooming time, but just, just second pull all the way to 200. Yeah, it has the more bite to it. Okay. It's not that bad. Okay. If you like the person that you like to have a little bite to it, uh, I bet you you're going to, you prefer the first one, but if you are the person that you want something well balanced cup, right? If you're the well balanced cup, I bet you're going to be really enjoying the, uh, second, uh, cup. Okay. But we are talking about EK, uh, SK 43. Okay. So that's 40 millimeter conical burst. All right. So man, uh, it comes to body. Okay. I know, uh, someone asked me about the body there. Hold on. Well balanced. Okay. Very nice mouth feel to it. Okay. And for the first cup, has a more, more bite. Okay. So the second cup has a more nice, uh, more smooth body. Right. Okay. You know what? So that's 40 millimeter SK 40. That's conical birds. Costco, uh, conical is not known for, okay. It's not known for, uh, filter coffee. Who wants to see right now? Okay, who wants to see? Let's brew with Commandante. Okay. Oh, Commandante or GP6. Uh, which one you guys want to see? I, I'm very curious right now. Commandante or GP6. Uh, let's see. 
Yeah, who wants to see it right now? Yeah. It's about, about 48 people watching, right? So this great thing about, again, this great thing about the live streaming, we can change our topic whenever, okay? Yeah, we can just change it. Heat of the moment here. Uh, let's go to the Commandante. Come up. You guys want to see with the Commandante, so. Yeah, we have enough water here. Uh, I'm going to use the exact same brewer as well, same brewing method, yeah. Overwhelming, overwhelmingly, uh, you guys want to see Commandante. Hold on. Okay. Here we go. So this is the Commandante C40. Uh, by is, how many people has a Commandante at home? Okay, let me know. Okay, let me know in the comment section. It's been a while, so I need to check the... I wonder how many clicks I have here. Okay. Hold on, I got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. 20 clicks, okay, 20 clicks for that. For that coffee. Okay. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. So I'm gonna uh, stick with the twenty. Yeah. So let's go to twenty clicks on Commandante. Okay. The water is good. Okay. So I mean, every hand grinders are uh, conical style anyway. All right, but every has every coffee, you know, every hand grinder has a different bird design. Okay, so you are pretty much buying for the bird design. But uh, D Hart asked, 20 seems uh, small. I mean, it's not that bad. Okay, I mean, 20 is all dependent on grinder. Every grinders are different. So 20, I use that for filter anyway. So so let's get the uh, ready here. Uh, again, I'm using the just a regular. Uh, so, uh, this this is pay, uh, paper from Cafect, okay? Paper. We're gonna be doing. Let's see here. Again, same. Uh, we. Uh, I'm using the Kona dripper this morning. All right. Kona dripper here. All right. Hold on, so we need another, I need another cup. Hold on a second, guys. Okay. Uh, we're gonna do 13 gram dose. By the way, if you're just joining us for the first time, uh, welcome to live streaming. Okay, make sure if you're a first timer, let me know on the live chat so, you know, I can shout out your name, okay? I can acknowledge you, you are here for the first time. I know some people like to just, you know, just watch and kind of like behind the scene. That's okay too. All right. That's okay too. Uh, Grant asked me, how does the SD40 compare to the niche for espresso? I mean, here's the thing about the, the comparison, right? It's all different. Okay. Some coffee really shot conical burr. All right. Be conical bar like uh, niche does a great job, okay. In general, okay. Uh, sometimes size does matter, okay. Size does matter, so but sometimes it isn't, okay. Uh, the other day I did uh, SK40 versus niche zero the other day. Goodness, uh, there was neck and neck with the uh, light roast there, so it all depends, all right. So let's grind some coffee here. Uh, so Commandante, <clears throat> we do. 20 clicks, all right? I'm not doing RDT, okay? I'm not a big fan of RDT anyway. RDT means, uh, it's called rust droplet technique. Put, put some water in it when you grind some coffee. Okay, here we go. JD mentioned about the King Grinder. Yeah, King Grinder has pretty good reputation, okay? They're affordable. I believe they were 70 bucks, 70, 80 bucks there, so they're not that expensive. All right. Okay, if you're just joining us just now, uh, we just made a coffee. Two different technique, right? We're using the SK40. Okay, but this time, we are, uh, so this is kind of like bonus section here. 
Okay, having some fun here. We're having some fun. So we use the SK40. This uh, we are brewing with the Commandante right now. Okay. Let's find out. It's gonna be any difference. Okay. Any difference in taste? You know, it'd be funny. If I cannot tell the difference between uh, SK40 versus Commandante, man, I'm I'm hoping. Okay, I'm hoping it's gonna be. Uh, I can, uh, I'm going to tell the difference, but I don't know. Maybe interesting. Very interesting there. Okay. First, I'm going to wet the paper here. Hold on a second, guys. Goodness. The one thing I don't like about the fellow kettle once everything is hot, it's hard to open it, so you have to use paper to a uh, towel to open it. I'm not quite sure if I have enough water or not. I'm just gonna, I'd rather be safe. Add some little bit of water here. We're only gonna do 200 gram anyway, so. Uh, by the way, I'm using the third wave water, okay. I'm doing the third wave water here uh, using the classic uh, blend. Okay, this is called classic. All right. So we got Commandante going. Uh, again, if you guys are curious about the clicks, we are doing the 20 clicks. Comes the retention, they're perfect. Okay. There's no whole lot of retention in hand grinders in general, anyway. So water's ready. All right. So let's brew some coffee. Uh, I'm going to be doing 30 second blooming. Okay, we are going to, I'm going to take some time to brew this cup, okay. Bloom about 30 seconds. If you are just joining us for the first time, welcome to live streaming, folks. Okay, here we go. Good. I'm just going to go center pull very aggressive, all the way up to 100. Okay. In this case, you are going to everything as a uh, agitation. I'm just going to gently clean up the side around minute mark there. Go up to 150. Okay. Okay, when I have like one minute and 15 second range, I'm just gonna go one more time, clean to the side, clean it. Very gentle center pull, okay? Very good gentle, ever so gently. That's it. And the finer swerve. All right. And the brew time should be around two minutes and like hopefully around two minutes and 30 seconds. I mean, that's what I'm, you know, that's what I'm shooting for every single time, 2.30. 2.30 is ideal, but sometimes two minutes is okay too. So this one have to be two minutes, okay? So this one is at 20 clicks right now. So 20 clicks, I'm using the Kona dripper okay i'm using kona dripper and 20 clicks and about two minutes so next time what i need to do is if i'm going to go extend that that's at 230 so maybe go down to about what 15 or 16 clicks instead so you gotta just kind of like adjust it you know every single time okay every single time there all right so this is a commandante okay it's gonna be slightly under extracted compared to a second shot here. 
Okay, so I'm going to try this one, go back one more time. So this is the second shot is much better than first uh, number one shot. Okay, so this is number two. Hold on. Well balanced. Yeah, nice texture. Sweet. Uh, nice citrus. Good. Okay. Now, this is the coffee from Commandante. Okay. Coffee from Com uh, Make sure a thumbs up on the video, guys. Okay. We have uh, 50 people watching right now. Yeah. By the way, if you're a first timer, let me know. Okay. If you're a first timer, definitely let me know. Okay. Uh, I can uh, shout out your name. Uh, welcome to the live chat. Okay. I know some of you are watching after the fact, but th the best way to watch my live streaming is obviously live. All right, so if you have any questions or comment, you can ask me there on the spot there. Here we go. Cheers. Man. Hold on a second. Okay. It is a little hot. So this is the Commandante. Yes, it was two minute brew time. Okay. Two minute brew time, slightly under extracted. But I'm, I'm fine with it. I'm, I'm fine with the fast brew. Okay, Michael is for the first time. Shout out to Michael. Yeah, hold on a second. Hold on. I'm just gonna transfer a little bit of cup here. Cup is too hot, so I'm just gonna swerve it, cool down a little. Here you go. Now, let's try it one more time. Here we go. Man, for this coffee here, okay, this coffee, uh, I still like the the second shot, uh, second cup from the SK40. Okay, I, I prefer this one. Okay, not because the so this one. Uh, hold on. Too clean, too bland, okay? If you are looking for clean cup, all right, if you're looking for really clean cup, uh, Commandante is fine, okay? GP6 is really clean as well. Something clean, right? It's a filter focused coffee. But you want something a little bit more spicy, something more, you know, something more to it, bite to it. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I prefer the SK40 with this coffee, okay? This coffee from Good Brothers, that's it, okay? For that coffee. Again, that is uh, tricky. That's the reason why people ask me all the time, which grinder is better, right? I think that's the wrong uh, question, okay? I mean, the real question is, you need to figure out what you like first, folks. You need to figure out what kind of tasting profile you like. You want something, you want coffee with more texture to it, okay? You want something more clean? So you have to ask yourself, I mean, uh, what I like, right? Once you figure out what you like, and then you can actually look for that grinder, all right? GP6, uh, let's talk about that for a second. They're extremely clean, okay? Clean cup. It doesn't have the dynamic range, does, okay? Uh, Commandante, similar, okay? Very clean cup. Not a whole lot of excitement there. I know K Plus give you that a uh, little bit of excitement, okay? But it's not as clean, but it give you that a lot more texture to it, all right? Uh, EK43, man, they're fantastic, all right? They're fantastic. Uh, extremely clean, 98 millimeter flat burr. They're pretty spectacular, okay? But is that practical at your house? No. Fact is, no one, no one should buy that coffee grinder for your house, all right? No one should buy that coffee grinder for your house. They're extremely loud, take a lot of space, okay? It's, it's nothing great thing about it. Only thing uh, great thing about the coffee grinder, I mean, besides uh, give you an extremely clean cup of coffee, kind of like conversation piece at your house, right? If you, go, if you bring your friends over, hey, I mean, that's game over. Okay, they're fantastic, all right? They give you that statement, and the, you, you are going to make some really, really nice pour over coffee. 
but it's not practical for your house. Uh, it's a DHR, say, SK, uh, EK43 retention. Retention is not that bad, okay? It's not that bad at all. Uh, we are talking about point, uh, point 0.1 point one and point 0.2 gram. It's very, very uh, low retention uh, for my experience, okay? For my experience. Because I usually go light roast anyway. Darker roast, oily coffee, maybe, okay? Because sometimes it gets stuck inside. But yeah, most, time, most coffee I've been using, yeah, no retention. Um, you know, I mean, very little. Let's put it that way. Well, we have a Michael has a comment. Just got my O2. Goodness. Yeah, I mean, O2, uh, fellow O2s are fantastic, by the way. All right. Uh, we did a video on that, what, yesterday, right? Yeah, I mean, O2s are great for home. Okay. Okay, hold on a second. Yeah, we have Elaine. the only place I have seen EK43. Yeah, I mean, that's it. Coffee shop. Okay, EK43 is great for coffee shop. Uh, not in your house, all right? Unless if you have, if you have a dedicated to coffee section at your home, that's awesome, okay? That's great. I mean, which, I mean the, the fact is, if you have EK43 at home, all right, you are far into coffee rabbit hole, okay? Coffee rabbit hole, all right? You are, you are already there, let's put it that way. John asked me about the French press. You know what? I'm not a big fan of French press. Okay. I mean, I, mean, I did plenty of videos in the past. I do have a motor for French press here. But I like the filter, uh, paper filter. I like the cleaner taste. You know, it's nothing wrong with the French press. Don't get me wrong. But I prefer the cleaner taste. Okay. Yeah. Hold on a second here. We have a JD. I don't like having used the bellow. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm not a big fan of a bellow either. Uh, you can get a bellow for EK43. It's not the same because I like, I like to see the hopper. All right. So put single dose. Yeah. Okay. Hold on a second here. We have a hungry penguin. Okay. We have hungry penguin. Jackie. Too much body texture. I also like to clean up. Yep, from the drip coffee filter there. Yeah, I mean again, uh, French press has a lot of texture to it. John say, uh, let's. I know you don't like just the taste, please. Yeah, you know what? Let's do that. Okay, let's do that sometime uh, this week or next week. Okay, let's do some French press, All right? So, so maybe we can do. We can compare French press versus uh, kind of like filter coffee. Yeah, it should be fun. It'd be definitely fun there. The thing, okay, also think about the French press. You cannot go low dose. You have to go at least like 20 gram or 30 gram, right? Uh, with my coffee, I go, you know, I go like single portion size. I do about 13 gram, 14 gram. If I'm feeling, you know, if I need some caffeine, I go 15 gram, 16 gram at the most. Usually around 13 gram. I mean, just, I think 13 gram is like perfect size for me. Okay, just... You know, just give you that enough taste. The thing about the um, thing about my coffee habits, I drink a lot of coffee throughout the day, so I cannot drink the entire cup. So right now, we have, I got three cups right here. Uh, most likely, I'm gonna be having a couple of sips and I'm gonna be throwing away. So yeah. Okay. So it's been cooled down. So this is a Commandante. Very bland. All right. So this is the first cup earlier. Has, still has a lot of body to it as well. Yeah. Um, yeah, you know what? I'm so far I'm pretty pleased with the uh, SK40 so far. Okay. Uh, Tora asked me how much coffee I drink. Uh, if I'm going to add all my coffee uh, entire day, I drink about one cup. That's it. Okay. One cup amount. About 250 gram at the most. I know some of you drinks quite a bit, okay, but yeah, I mean, I cannot, you know, I cannot drink too much caffeine right now, so. Okay, hold on a second here. We have, uh, let's see here, we got some couple, oh, goodness, we have uh, somebody from Hemsman. I prefer 18, 18 gram in and, th okay, there we go. Uh, 13 gram for, is for kids, fantastic, okay, yeah. 18 and 300 grams of water going in, yeah, so that's great. I mean, that's good. Pro I mean, that's pretty good drink. Okay, that's really good. 
I, I hope you are drinking the good coffee too. Okay, I hope you are drinking the good coffee there as well. Okay, we have a JD Immer, or Immersion versus a Percolated Brewer. Yep, pretty good. Sw yep, Switch and Clever. Yeah. Uh, I don't know, is there anybody play with, let's see here. Uh, the other day we were playing with Cup Timo the other day, right? So this is kind of like, similar to like how you're switching Clever, except uh, this is a vacuum, okay? So this is the vacuum, uh, vacuum power brewer, uh, pretty interesting, brewing device. Michael does the 20 gram, 20 gram with 320 grams of water, goodness, man. I mean, once you are doing the 20 gram dose, man, you are, you, you, you are pretty good there. D Hall said, I wish Cup Timo was, uh, I think you can get it from, I wonder if you have to buy from direct, from uh, Wolfgang from Germany. Yeah, I'm not quite sure. Let's see here. Uh, Tora asked, uh, ever tried uh, DeLonghi? DeLonghi. Uh, I'm not a big fan of DeLonghi. Uh, they are, you know, they are good machine, but I mean, I prefer Brista Express or Pro because, I mean, they are, they are proven, okay? I mean, they have a lot of great, they have a lot of uh, community, let's put it that way. All right, they're a great community to help you out. Yeah, I mean, they're, and that's the reason I like the Brista Express or Pro. Okay, hold on, we have uh, Z Martin. Z Martin 13, I have a V60, wants to try another bro. Okay, if you have V60 right now, okay, V60 is like cone-shaped dripper. Uh, I go with the flat one, okay? If you have V60, go try flat. The flat bottom uh, brewer. So it comes to flat bottom brewer, they got quite a few, right? So goodness, we got Oreas out there, we got Aprils out there. Let's see, who else have? Uh, quite a few, okay, quite a few. Uh, quite a few uh, drippers, so yeah. Uh, 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 let's not forget the Stag, okay? I got my Stag X as well from Fellow. The Stag X is also pretty interesting. Uh, Kalita, okay, let's not forget the Kalita. Dang! So how many we have now? Hold on. We have a uh, Orea, Kalita, April. Let's see. We got so far three. Uh, we got MK as well. I know Saint Anthony has one. We got five. We got five. I think we have more than five. Yeah, we have a. I bet you six or seven at least. Okay. Yeah. We got at least six or seven. It comes to flat bottom paper. So, uh, if I were you, okay. Uh, go with, uh, uh, let's not forget the B75 from Timor as well. B say, uh, origami. Origami also used the, uh, flat, uh, origami used the cone shaped paper and flat bottom paper. You can use that both from origami too. Goodness. You know, I bet you more than 10, right? What do you guys think? I bet you it's more than 10. Yeah, I bet you, yeah. There's more than 10 flat bottom paper, uh, flat bottom paper drippers out there. Comes the cone-shaped paper, definitely more than 10. Okay, definitely more than 10. So, so that's, that's another thing about uh, the finding the right brewer, okay? Start with the V60 or something cheap, all right? If you want to start getting into filter coffee, prober. I mean, I think I showed you earlier about the different recipes. Just pick one. All right, just pick the recipe, just play with it, okay? Don't worry about the, uh, you know, technique right now. Just have some fun with it, getting comfortable using it. And uh, obviously having a scare is important, all right? I mean, if you can afford to buy, you know, scare with a timer on it, just get a cheap Amazon scare for like 10 bucks. Uh, just get a kitchen timer, all right? So let's get a kitchen timer. You can actually time it. So it's gonna be set you back about what? Less than 20 bucks for the, your scale and timer. Okay. Uh, comes to grinder. Man, if you are looking for grinder right now, you guys are in the great time because you can get a you know $100 grinder all the way up to 10,000, okay? So you have a grinder for every single price range. So, I mean, don't worry about it, all right? So you got plenty of grinder setting. 
you know, grinder options for you guys. So, so just make sure only thing you need is the time, right? Only thing you need is time. And uh, let's not forget water. Okay, let's not forget the water chemistry. Uh, do not use uh, filter water from your, uh, do not use your tap water from your house unless if you are in the place that having an awesome, you know, great uh, tap water quality, okay, from your faucet. Uh, some countries has an awesome, really nice uh, uh, water quality there, but I'm living in Arizona. Yeah, it's, it's pretty sad here, okay, pretty sad. Uh, let's see here, we have a, a little total say is the v60 best dripper you know what i mean there's most popular v6 is the most popular drip uh, drippers out i don't know about best i don't think there's no best dripper okay it's all up to you okay you and your technique and you know good water and you know decent grinder you know you are going to make some great great uh pro over coffee uh john says how are your hand grinder any good i mean yeah they're all fine okay they're good all right how are you is fine you know Again, I mean, once you start, start looking for gadgets, there's no end. Okay, I have to say that to you guys. There's no end to getting a good grinder because they're so expensive. Okay. All right. I think we are good for today's session. Again, shout out to Mr. Rainbow and D. Hall for the super sticker. This uh, uh, Actually, this afternoon now. We've been talking for about 51 minutes okay it's been a, it's been great all right uh, i'll be back later today okay let's do i'll be back later today and let's play with uh one of my df64 grinder all right uh, let's put some uh, let's do let's do something so let's play like maybe let's make some uh, espresso yeah let's do that okay let's do some espresso hold on i'm gonna we have a hamsman ask how are you v60 with the cafe tech yep yeah, I mean, goodness. I mean, that's good setup right there. We got the CAFEC paper with the Hario V60. Yeah, that's fantastic combo. All right, guys. See you next time.